tense weekend so far, but we're not done yet. Straight ripping with a 5-1 to one lead over Instinct. The winner of this matchup is going to become our new number one on the pro circuit. They're going to be the points leader for straight ripping. It's one more game for Instinct. It's one more game to fight for their lives. So we're going to see what happens in this next matchup. Let's take a look at the map and the game type. Well, it's do or die time for Instinct. They're going to be facing off on Team Slayer on the pit. Look for players to lock down the sniper rifles, the rockets in the green tunnel, and of course the overshield. We're going to kick this one off with Lunchbox from Instinct. He is going to be going for that overshield most likely to start this one off as he was earlier. And the key to this one is going to be stopping Straight Ripping from getting the Rockets to begin. And it looks like Lunchbox is going to adjust his strategy here to focus on the Rockets. Well, now we heard in between matches here, boy, barking at his teammates saying, nobody's listening to me. we got to talk. we got to work together. Let's see if they're able to improve on that in this game, because if they are, they're going to be going home number two. Well, we have a really strong start here for Instinct. Makia was able to assassinate the Overshield player. Meanwhile, Lunchbox is patient. Out BRT squared, got those rockets for him, and now check this out. Lunchbox is playing very sneaky here. He's playing very much like Neighbor, as we've seen on this map, taking a, a route behind the straight rip and setup. He's going to go for their sniper rifle player, and then using those rockets that you see him taking down Oh my Warrior from behind. Oh, Might's wondering where the hell did that come from? But right now it is five to three in with the lead. But we have neighbor and the rest of straight ripping rocket some sniper rifle. And you see that Elamite went back and he got some revenge right there. It's looking good so far. Both teams again, instinct fighting for their lives, straight ripping, fighting for a chance to call themselves champs here in San Diego. Teams noticeably hesitant here, taking it a little easy, laying back. Instinct can't afford to lose. Straight ripping. Wanting to win. Once again, I have to reiterate how impressed I am with Instinct. Now, in my predictions, I never would guess that Instinct would make it all the way to the championship match here. They have a brand new roster, and they have gelled so well together so quickly. But Neighbor is heating things up, and so is T-Squared, who just picked up the triple kill. You saw the sniper is on the ground. It's all because of Big Daddy T, and now Neighbor is going to try and take advantage of it. He's going to be forced to back up. He's got about four shots left in the sniper rifle. You see him waiting for a player to come through sword, but he was taking shots from behind in green, legit pushing in to help him out. It's 13 to 8, straight ripping, trailing by 5, and it looks like Roy is playing extremely aggressively right here. Roy still talking, still communicating. I like that he's not giving up, and neither are the other members of Instinct. They know one win is just gonna be something to build on. Overshield was up, Sundance. We got Elmite down low. He's trying to dodge grenades, he's trying to stay alive, but he is taken out, and now Lunchbox is gonna have it. This is exactly what Instinct's need, needed. They need to control the power weapon, and they need to get straight ripping off their game. Lunchbox has been able to do that all game long. But it's only a five kill lead at this point, and it's still already at 17-12. Instinct needs to put some distance between themselves, because the longer they let straight rip and stick around, the more they're going to let straight rip and feel like they can win. And you don't want this team feeling confident. All right, well, we have the sniper battle between T-Squared. Oh, my goodness, did you see that? Lunchbox didn't even mean to hit that player, and then he picks up the beatdown. He is going off, giving his team that five kill lead. We're just three minutes into the game, and we already have 20 kills racked up for Instinct. Lunchbox giving his team quite a few of them. Well, Lunchbox playing very smart here, backing up, allowing his teammates to help him out. He saw a player moving towards Needler. Now trying to sneak around. He caught Elamite. It's 21 to 14. They're creating that space now, giving his team a seven kill lead. We got a sniper rifle in the hands of T-Squared. Also one in the hands of Lunchbox's twin brother, Roy. And on the other side, we also have legit rocking the rockets over there on training. But he's going up against Roy, and Roy just out PR'd him. So Roy and Lunchbox definitely putting the rest of the team on their back at this point. Lunchbox still staying around alive, looking around the straight ripping base. He's waiting for the new rockets, trying to play sneaky, trying to figure out where all straight ripping is. He doesn't find it, finally catching legit, and now he's going to be able to get the sniper rifle once again. So he just picked up some VR ammo, sniper ammo as well. He's going up against Elmite Warrior, who's in the green box, and a nice, consistent VR there from Lunchbox, waiting for Elmite to peek out. 
and he took him down. So Lunchbox leading his team with most kills. We're gonna jump on board with Legit, who was trying to make things happen, but he just got shut down by Roy. Let's jump back on board with Roy, the twin brother from Instinct. We got Neighbor with Overshield. Neighbor charged and took him down. Neighbor now is gonna be able to have a sniper rifle, but here we have the melee there from Macchio, dropping all of Neighbor's Overshield. Smart play by Macchio, because he smacked him and then got out of there. It's a five kill difference right now. We have straight ripping, trailing by five. Instinct definitely needs to win this game. If they do not, straight ripping will become the new number one seed on the pro circuit and the San Diego champions. Neighbor trying to stay alive, running his sneaky route, bottom side. There's Roy, there's the VR battle, and Roy wins it once again. He is absolutely on fire. And the new sniper rifles are coming up. Same with Rockets, it appears, because Legit is waiting for him here in the green box. You see him bouncing those grenades high off the green wall, trying to hit a player on training, going up against Roy. Smart move to back down. We have, it looks like all of Instinct over here on the Needler side of the map. Meanwhile, it looks like Street Ripon is trying to push the training. Legit going over to Needler side, helping out El Might Warrior. It's a six kill difference right now. Instinct still maintaining the lead. They started off strong and they've been able to maintain that lead all game long. The thing they need to do, do though is put some distance between themselves. Five or six kills is just not enough because any one of these trade missile players could heat up and take them down. But so far, Instinct, all the players doing a good job of not letting that happen, communicating, staying in. They are not giving up, and I love that spirit. All right, well, Legit was waiting for those Rockets to coming up real soon. He was not able to get them. Lunchbox wanted to get over there to him as well, but he was taken down. We're going to jump on board, though, with Snipebound, who is playing very sneaky, trying to get behind the straight rip and setup, maybe going for their sniper rifle. Going up, there's the VR battle against Neighbor. Put a few shots on him, making sure he's not in danger from any of the other straight ripping players. And now Snipe Down is going to back out. He knows, he's, he knows he doesn't have any help. Finds Neighbor down low, and Neighbor out VRs him. Meanwhile, Roy just got a double kill, as did Legit. And we're jumping on board with Neighbor, and he's got the sniper rifle. Down to just a two kill lead here for his Neighbor with that snipe, moving around, being sneaky. T-Square just got an OS for his squad. Here's where comes the Neighbor is set game. up. He just hit a player once. T-Square cleaning it up. And Neighbor and T-Square working so well together. T-Square causing some distractions. Neighbor is going to work. And T2 is going to go up and finish his kill as Straight Ripon takes the lead 43 to 42. They want to end this series right now. Neighbor trying to stay alive in short term. He's got no shields. All the players from Instinct trying to take him down. Now trying to get an angle, and he is going to be taken down by Roy. We're hopping on board, though, with Roy from Instinct. He's got a sniper set up high, hit legit in the body. It's 45 to 44. It could go either way. Right now, we have the power weapons, though, in the hands of Instinct. So they need to play patiently. They need to be cautious. They cannot give up any more kills. It's all tied up at 45. Five kills for either team ends this game. Great Rippin hoping to end it and become champs. Instinct just trying to stay alive. Four kills left for them. Great Instinct picking up that 46 kill. Everyone is slowing this game down. The new power weapons are coming up soon. They're going to be waiting on that overshield. Neither team wants to give up any kills. No one wants to make a mistake. You can expect this game to slow down to a complete halt. Again, Instinct can't afford Listening so in with the team time here in Winners OS. Boy pushing in aggressive, but he is taken down just as straight Raven makes the push. We're jumping on board with snipe down 48 to 47. T squared trying to stay alive in the green box. And T squared is taken down, so it's 48 to 48. Roy pushing over on the straight ripping side of the map. He's getting help from Macchio as well. And Snipe Down is getting the overshield. So it's 49 to 48. Snipe Down versus T Squared. And he is met by three players. And they are all charging in. Neighbor and the rest of the squad pushing on training. Go! Oh, that's it, bro! Makes it home. Straight ripping wins San Diego. Go! What a finish right there.
give it up for Instinct. Not willing to back down, but in the end, too much from straight ripping. They are your champs here at the MLG Championship Sunday, live from San Diego. T Squared and crew bringing it home. Instinct, got to be happy though. They fought their way back, fighting against triggers down, getting back up here, but too much straight. That previous series gave them a huge advantage, and you know what? Once they had it, they just didn't let go. Final score here, straight ripping six, instinct one.